Change is inevitable. As much as people don't like change, it's the only thing that's constant in our lives. We have to transition from shuttle uh, to a new future, which we're going to define, which can be even better. For the first time in my career, working on vehicles that will leave lower Earth orbit again. We're looking at a vehicle that can eventually carry 130 metric tons or so to low Earth orbit. That's a pretty big rocket. It's on the order of what we had back in the Saturn program. The heavy lift vehicle allows us to put large masses in space that are required to go to these destinations outside of low Earth orbit. And then we'll have this capsule that'll go along with us for the, for the trip to where we're going. And it's based off of the Orion capsule that we were working on before. Um, it seats about four crew members and that's the basic capsule that will go out into space and then this capsule will serve as a re-entry vehicle back into the earth when we come home. Anything that we do in terms of space exploration is worth the expense um, because it gives us an opportunity to, to um, explore and to investigate and to experiment on things that, that we just have no way to fathom here on Earth. When you put things in the microgravity environment, you take them away from gravity, um, you, you learn a lot of different things. What we're doing is we're investing in a broad portfolio of technologies. Some of those technologies are risky. Some of them will pan out, others will not. But in the end, we'll have the technological capabilities to go to places and to explore, both with robots and humans, that we can't do today. What we've done is we built kind of just a basic path or a basic architecture of all the destinations we could go and now we're starting to define all the capabilities to go to those destinations. This is called a flexible path because uh, with these capabilities we'll be able to go to multiple destinations such as back to the moon, to near Earth objects, to, the, to Mars and its moons, and to Lagrange points. Uh, these are all places that we can feasibly go to with people in the, in the foreseeable future. We are an exploring species. NASA is leading that exploration effort for humankind as we go forward. Can we do this? Absolutely. Is it going to be a challenge? You bet it is. But I know that this team is uh, capable of making it happen. Not only happen, but happen in a uh, superb way that uh, sets the standard for everyone else. I uh, look forward to the days ahead when, when we actually do uh, send people out to, to these places to touch them and and set foot on them and discover things we don't even have a clue of. Future that allows us to explore beyond our home planet, to seek our destiny, to, to learn what we couldn't possibly learn if we were stuck in low Earth orbit. And that's what we're off to.